I want to show you something that Jesus is, is doing and saying in Luke chapter 13. And I'm going to begin in verse 10, because this is amazing. Uh, this is about a woman who has a spirit of infirmity. It says, now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Say, on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. I'm fixing to, to, to wrap up my message with this. So he's, he is in the synagogue and he's teaching on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity for how many years? 18 years. 18 years. She has a spirit of an infirmity and was bent over and could no way raise herself up. 18 years, this woman, and it's a spirit. The devil cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. It, Jesus, it's a spirit of infirmity, a spirit of infirmity. And he looks, and he looks at her in verse 12, but when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. But the rulers of the synagogue answered with indignation because Jesus healed on the Sabbath. He's being berated and rebuked. Jesus, because he healed on the Sabbath. And he said to the crowd, this is the, the synagogue ruler, he says to the whole crowd that's there, there are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore, come and be healed on them, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then said to him, uh, this is what Jesus says, says to him, Hypocrite! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it? So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, think of it for her 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath? And when he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the multitude rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Now, how do I wrap that up? Oh, my, 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 my. This daughter of Abraham? Do you see how powerful this blessing is through Jesus Christ? He bypasses all of the law that they would have used against him when it comes to being on the Sabbath. You are not supposed to work on the Sabbath. Well, I tell you what, if we was an old-time church and we did not have any kind of recording capabilities, I'd read that straight up in King James. Mm. I would. I put it so far into King James and say, look at you, you hypocrite. You're, you'll, you'll, you'll loose your donkey. <laughs> you'll, loose your, you'll loose your ox to go give your ox water and you'll let your blank go and get some water. Your donkey. You ain't got no problem letting your donkey loose on the Sabbath. And here's the daughter of Abraham for 18 years walking all bent over. And it's not her fault. She got a spirit of infirmity. And, and if you're the ruler of the synagogue and you say, well, there's six other days you could have came and got your miracle. Six other days you could come and get your healing. Then why is she walking around like this for 18 years in your synagogue? Because you put more on them than they can bear. But because she's a daughter of Abraham, she has a right to the promise. And the promise works on the Sabbath as much as it works on the Monday. Amen. The promises don't stop. The promises are not, we read it, saints, we read it in Galatians. You can't nullify it. You cannot nullify it and say, okay, this promise can't work on the Sabbath. No, 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 no. I am blessed to be a blessing. It's going to work on the Sabbath as much as it's going to work on Monday, Amen. through Friday, through Sunday. Saints, you got to call things be not as though they were. Amen. And when you leave here today, this is what I want you to leave here with. Remember the covenant? Covenant, the heart and lungs work together. Blood carries oxygen in the brain. They work together. There's a relationship there. 
And I'm telling you, you have a relationship through Christ Jesus. You are Abraham's seed and you are heirs according to the promise. Abraham was blessed and he was blessed to be a blessing. And those who bless him received a blessing and Jacob got that blessing also. And those who curse him were cursed. And you need to not try to vindicate yourself. Let vengeance be the Lord. Let God take care of them. Come on. Dysfunction going to function. Dysfunction going to function. Because there's going to be an anointing on you, an anointing on me, that we're going to learn how to walk in this faith walk, and we're going to believe God regardless of what it looks like out there, regardless of what's going on outside out there, regardless of what the enemy has set to encamp all around against us. God going to lift that standard against the enemy and say, no, wait a minute. He's claimed the promise. He's not perishing for lack of knowledge. He's claiming the promise. And the promise said I'd protect him. And the promise said that I would reward him. I would be his reward. I would be his reward. You know what that means? It means I'd be his Jehovah Jireh. I'll be his provider. I'm going to guard him. His enemies will not overtake him. Poverty is not a part of his life. He'll never be broke another day in his life. It cannot happen. As long as he's believing in the promise, just like Isaac, he can sow in a land of famine and receive a hundredfold. Why? Because it doesn't matter what it looks like in the natural, the blessing works anyhow. Uh, that's, that's what people don't, where I'm, I'm just going to say this here, uh, that's what some people don't, don't get the idea, they don't understand tithing. They don't understand tithing. I've had people tell me before, I've been around the ministry a long time, they say, I can't afford a tithe, and I just want to, and I can't do it. I, I, but I want to, I want to look them square in the eyes and I say, how is stupid, how long are you going to be stupid, stupid? There's a verse for that. If you can't trust God with 10% of your finances, Jacob, Jacob, he says, listen, if you're going to be a God and you be my God and you're going to bring me back to my father's house in peace, you're going to be my God and I'm going to give you a tenth of everything. Yes, Abraham did the same thing with Melchizedek. Tithing, tithing is a very important issue. And it, was, it was before the law. It, you, they, the, the, the people who throw it under the law is because they're trying to do away with it. You stingy little thing. You don't understand that if God don't bless that 90%, you can lose that. He said, prove me with this, test me with this, and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you won't have room enough to contain it. You trust me in this. Let me be a God and be the God of a covenant, and you have a covenant with me even through the tithe. And you covenant that tithe, that 10%, you make sure you give unto the Lord the 10%. You give it to God. And you do it out of joy. Why? Because he loves a cheerful giver? Yes. Because he uh, loves a hilarious giver? Yes. But because he said he would bless me and he would protect me and he would open the windows of heaven and he said that I could test him in this. I can try him in this. Well, I can't test him and try it in unbelief. I can't. Nothing's going to happen in unbelief. I got to do like Isaac. I got to sow in the land of famine. I got when nobody else is getting any kind of results and telling me how they hurt and how they're, they're no breakthrough. And are you hearing what I'm saying by faith? I'm not talking about anybody as an individual, but some people sometimes they say, I can't afford. I can't afford. I'm like, you can't afford not to. Don't you think if you've been going down the same road for 20 years and you still ain't got to your destination that maybe something ought to change? that you might rearrange some things and start saying, you know what, I've trusted in what little I have, but through the pastor's preaching, he's stirring my faith that God can release the debt with the axe head and God can release the debt with the oil that will not cease and, and make sure that all the, her debts were paid and that her and her children can live off of the rest and he can take a little bit of meal and a little bit of oil and feed a family all the way through a famine. God knows how to do it and understand it. I just got to put my faith in God. What? Like Abraham. Abraham said he was fully persuaded. His confidence that God was able to keep the promises that he made. You promised me, God, that you would take care of me. You promised me, God, that you would feed me. You even said through your own son that I wasn't have to worry about tomorrow what I'm going to eat. I wasn't going to have to worry about tomorrow what I'm going to wear. So given a tithe, that's not a strain on me. Why would there be a strain? You feed me, you clothe me, you protect me, you're my shield. 
I mean, giving you 10% just shows that I'm in covenant relationship with you on that level. I'm covenant with you in finances. Because I've seen Abraham do it. I've seen Jacob do it. I watched the patriarchs do it. And I've seen you do a blessing in them and through them. And Jesus is in the order of Melchizedek. And Abraham gave a tithe to Melchizedek. Melech meaning king. Zedek which is also righteousness, the king of righteousness, of Selam, of Selam is what? Yahushalayim. I'm telling you, saints of God, there's power in what I'm speaking to you. When Jacob laid his head on the rock, he seen a ladder. Angels was ascending and descending. And he's named the place, he poured oil on it because the Lord spoke to him. And he poured oil on it as a memorial, and he called it Betel. Bet in Hebrew means house. El, like Elohim, Elohim, the Most High God. It means house of God. He said, this place must be the gates to heaven. The gate of heaven must be here. This must be the house of God. Don't ever, as long as you can be in your right mind, don't ever, think that God has not seen your financial sacrifices from the smallest nickel as a child that you put in Sunday school to the $1,000 check, to the $10,000 check, to the $20 million check. If he can trust you with little, he'll give you much. It's God that gives man the power to get wealth. Trust him with your wealth He'll have a relationship in your wealth, and your wealth will begin to multiply. It happens in every arena of your life. Trust him with your health. The doctor says this, the doctor says that. Okay, doc, I understand. But now let me go to work with my faith. Let me go. I, I don't have to receive that report as that, this too can change. If you can make a human body out of dirt and dust, you can work with what's left in this one. Amen. Say what I'm going to say. You keep it. And then you say, well, how long do you have to stay? Like, Impossible to please them, but by faith, don't give up until you get the results. Amen. If it comes in two hours, great. If it takes 10 years, then, then so be it. The point is, is that the promises are yea and amen. You said you would protect me. I heard Kenneth Copeland say yesterday, that one of the widows came up to him and says, now he promised he'd be a husband to the widows. And Kenneth Copeland said, yeah. And she says, well, my husband, he always took care of everything. Something broke, he fixed it. Now she says, I know he's going to be at the Lord. I'm, I, I'm at peace with that. I understand that. She says, but if he's supposed to be a husband to the widows, she said to him, then this is what I'm going to do. She went home. She said her toilet was broke. She didn't know how to fix it. Didn't have no idea, nothing about how to fix a toilet. Thing wasn't working. She hollered out in faith, you're my husband. I don't know how to fix no toilet. You're my husband. Fix it. <laughs> And she said to Kenneth Copeland, she says, and the toilet went, blah, 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 blah. and she said, it's been working ever since. <laughs> it's been working ever since. I'm telling you, God can take dysfunction and make it function. All right, stand to your feet. I'm going to leave it right there. He can do it. Keep your faith applied. 